Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Interest rates go up and they go down and we have seen this before. Now there are so many other elements that are arriving at the same time that could actually break our real estate market here in Canada and obviously in Toronto GTA. I would also like to share a couple of articles from Toronto Star that are interesting. I will share my screen and I would also visually like to show you the map of Ontario to see how many listings flooded our market. Then we will zoom in into Toronto GTA market. We will uh, try to find uh, some random listings and we will talk about it. So let's get right into the video. Okay, as I mentioned before, interest rates go up and they go down. But we also have a segment of pre-construction that has been hurting a lot. And that is very concerning because of many reasons. But one of them is if these developers and builders are uh, fighting to get a parcel of land, uh, they're struggling to get all these permits moving and all of that stuff. And they're committing to huge structures. Like you have to understand, you know, some of these developers are dealing with, you know, 60 stories, 80 stories, 100 stories, whatever the case might be. And those are huge, huge projects and they require a lot of funding and a lot of money. So it is very simple. They have a sales office. They want to sell as many units as humanly possible, if not all of them, so they can start digging and they can provide you with your uh, pre-purchased condominium or a project house, whatever the case is. But this time, the data showed a little bit different. So from the beginning of the year of 2024 till June, we had 36,371 units in Ontario. And last year of 2023, the first half, which is from January to June, we had 42,209 units, which is a significant drop of 14%. But it doesn't only stop there. Like if we move forward, we see that the sales are down in 2024 by 50%. That's a huge, huge number. Definitely concerning. So having said that, uh, as I mentioned before, these developers are banking on these sales offices and the realtors and the whole show to move on in order for, to provide you with the product that they have promised, right? So, but you know, things are different because if there's no money, the projects cannot move, right? These are huge projects with the huge commitments, huge contracts, and they have to obey some of these things. But it is definitely getting difficult when you're having 50% less sales this year. Now, let me share my screen and let's go into some of these articles. Uh, for example, this particular article right here is from Toronto Star. And uh, the headline here, it says, I can only drop the price so much inside one condo owner. Desperate attempt to sell in Toronto ghost town market. So uh, I will not read the, the full article, but like it, it says right here, after three months, of pursuit of selling this particular uh, unit, um, this this seller decided to drop the price by fifty thousand dollars. And this is uh, in downtown um, Toronto. It's a huge city, beautiful city, but still zero offers. So it is very interesting, but at the same time, it is concerning seeing all of this stuff right here. So now moving forward, like the next article here uh, from Toronto Star says, suddenly Toronto homes aren't selling, even desirable ones. So what does that mean? So a desirable, um, a desirable house means that it checks all the boxes, right? All the boxes, and it makes sense, you know, like three bedroom, beautiful backyard, one car garage, two car garage, depends where it is in, in, in the city and the town. But it is a very desirable property and it can accommodate so, so, so many buyers. It's not something specific. 
So to give you an example, like you could have like a studio condo uh, apartment in downtown where it might have a bedroom or no bedroom. It could be an open concept and whatever. It could be a thousand square feet, right? So yeah, like is there a buyer for that? Absolutely, right? But how many buyers are out there? right, that are single and they're looking for no bedroom and open concept, high ceilings, whatever the case is, right, so so just something to think about. So let's get back to the article. So sudden Toronto homes aren't selling, even desirable ones. Here's why realtors say owners are to blame. Stubborn and over leveraged sellers are being advised to drop prices by up to 400,000 as the market shifts, but many want budge. So this is a very interesting sentence, right? Stubborn sellers. So there are two parts to this particular equations. Some sellers would love to drop the price, but they're over leveraged and they owed so much to the bank that dropping the price would wipe them out. And in some instance, in some scenarios, even if they would walk out of the house, they would still own money to the bank negative equity so definitely dangerous but now if you think about that what are they hoping for like think about it for a second what are you hoping for like you're hoping that you know in three months two weeks next springtime things are all of a sudden everybody's going to turn on the lights and prices are going to skyrocket as they did in 2020, 2021, 2022, by 30%, 35%, depending on the area, right? It's not going to happen. It's not happening, right? So you have to try to find a solution. I'm not trying to advise you. I'm not trying you should do that, but I'm just trying uh, to give you a different perspective because a lot of people like to wrap a lot of the things in a beautiful foil you know what i mean a covering something nice so you swallow it easier nothing to swallow if you have a problem you you will wake up with the problem tomorrow like the market will not correct that quickly that suddenly for you to get out of your own problems this is my opinion but let's get back to the article so Again, uh, they're, they're talking, you know, that, that this uh, detached three-bedroom property was originally priced at $1.4 million. Um, it was first listed in mid-September and sat on the market for a month, which means that, you know, this price uh, was not the market value. It might have been market value at a given time in space, 2022, March, which was the peak of our real estate market in Toronto GTA that was maybe the time when this property would actually sell for 1.4 but other than that you're out of luck so let's go to the third article here it's again from Toronto Star it says a Toronto's new condo sales plunge 57 percent hit 27 year low in catastrophic drop so uh, it continues here with, uh, it says uh, the uh, 3,159 new units sold in GTA in the first half of 2024 presents a 72% decline compared to the 10-year average according to the report. So it, you will understand it even more when I actually show you the map of Ontario and then we zoom in into Toronto. It is incredible because there's so many of these red dots like you know they cannot put one listing they have to put like 172 listing in one bubble and then you have to zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and then finally you you can decipher them and most of the time they're like you know three four or five attached on one leg but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that so it is 10 year average low 72 percent drop now getting back into the map so as you can see if i zoom out right here ladies and gentlemen this is i don't know that's not even a tip but look, look at that like this is incredible eight thousand listings in twelve thousand in one bubble right here eight thousand right here six thousand right here so this is 
Toronto, obviously it's expected, and then Etobicoke, Mississauga, Hamilton, Burlington. Uh, even we have like like we have almost 2,100 listings in Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, Thorold. Check this out. This is insane. Like it, it is in it is nuts to see. So I don't know what some of these people are hoping for, but let's just let's just randomly go to, um, to some of these streets. Let's see what's interesting here. Okay, so this is by um, by the golf course, one million dollars listing. Um, they listed it in you know, April 29th. For a million fifty, they dropped the price to a million and thirty-nine. Uh, interesting, still not sold. They've been on the market for months. Um, if we go, for example, right here, what is this? Um, Honeywell Street um, listed uh, for eight hundred and thirty-nine thousand dollars. Thirty days sitting on the market. Uh, these homes. In this particular area, would sell definitely uh, more than um, nine hundred thousand dollars, maybe more than a million dollars, depending on the size. Uh, then, like they're like like Niagara Falls, uh, definitely a beating, one thousand percent. The the huge beating in Niagara Falls. Um, some of these properties, like look, listed, relisted, listed, relisted, same price, like. They're trying. Not, nothing wrong with that. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But, but, but what are you hoping? So now we go on the other side. And this is where uh, McLeod is and QE. Uh, here is the Costco. Uh, some of you know where this is. A beautiful new area. Not, nothing wrong with the area. But like we, we even see homes for sale here for $820,000 sitting on the market. A detached four bedroom, three bathroom, single car garage. Uh, so in 2022, uh, was listed for 929,000. Uh, so this was already in, 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 in December. So they missed the market by six months. So they listed it for probably the market value. And then in, in March 16th, they dropped it down by 30 K almost. So to 900 and they relisted. And then another significant eighty thousand dollar drop in twenty twenty four, and and who knows? Like, like it's hard to say for how much this house would sell, but you know, I, I if if I have to guess, this is probably like a seven seven hundred and seventy thousand seven hundred and eighty thousand dollar home. I mean, I I have not seen this particular house, but. Like even even at this price, like we're we're looking at more than a hundred thousand dollar drop since since last listed. I don't know for what they bought it for. Um, this one has been uh, this is a beautiful huge house, still a uh, sweet chestnut drive, uh, Niagara Falls. Twenty twenty three, they listed it for one million one forty nine. Uh, they dropped fifty thousand dollars and they would not move. Uh, they listed it in June, so it's been already months. So this property is definitely stale. So let's zoom out and let's zoom back into Toronto downtown. Um, I don't know where, where we're we gonna go, but let's go. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Spadina. Okay, it's interesting. A lot of stuff here. Like it doesn't matter. Like this one. Okay, so 850. So in 2019, probably was brand new when they bought it. They leased it, leased it, leased it. Now they're selling it. Okay, listed in April, April 2024, months ago. Nothing. Crickets. Beautiful condo, Bay Street. Um, nothing wrong with the condo. 11 days. Check this out, 2014, uh, 2014, they bought it for $376,000. Now it's $609,000 listed. So let's stop here for a second. So in 2014, this particular condo 
sold for $376,000. Now they're selling it for $609,000. So let's take inflation. Let's take everything into consideration. But the affordability, it's not there. So let's just move out a second so you can see the downtown core. Uh, by the way, we're looking uh, at easily nine months of inventory. Just to clear this by Toronto uh, Real Estate Board data, to clear this requires nine months and buyers to actually bite on these units. Nine months. I mean, guys, we, we, we can go forever. Like, there's so many. Like, I don't even know where to click. Like, I mean, this is like, this is, th this is crazy. So let's click this one. Um, let's go. This is a beautiful unit. Okay. So right here, uh, March 21st, they listed it for 850, probably market value at that particular time. I, I'm, I'm not blaming them. I mean, this, this is what these units were selling at the time right here in downtown so 850 then a twenty thousand dollar drop after five days and then another drop after four days so okay so here's another unit uh listed a day ago five hundred and twenty nine thousand is a beautiful terrace listed for five hundred and twenty nine thousand one plus one one bedroom, ladies and gentlemen, I know for fact, um, I, I know for fact, like units like this, a few years ago would sell in a heartbeat. This would sell like that. So now back to you. I mean, what are you going to do? I mean, I understand that the prices coming down are, are definitely sticky. This is the last thing that goes, but you have to think about it. Like if you are in a situation where you could give yourself a little bit of room in order to avoid disaster later, this is a suggestion. I'm not telling you you should do it, but you should consider definitely and recalculate uh, your soft landing. And I like how they use the word soft landing. Think about that for a second. It's still a landing. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's better than a hard landing. But even a soft landing, there's got to be a hit. Whether you hit slow, whether you hit hard, there will be a hit. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And see you all next time.